Adrian Ballou is no stranger to musical complexity. Fronting the likes of King Crimson and backing the venerable Frank Zappa and the Talking Heads, he's played some of the most intricate guitar parts ever recorded. Now, fresh off a world tour with the Adrian Ballou Power Trio, he's embarked on a one-man show called Painting with Guitar. To make it happen, Ballou knew he had to downsize his rig, ditch his numerous speaker cabinets, the pedal boards, the loopers, and synths. I traveled around the world a lot in the last three years, and uh, the unfortunate thing was I could never bring even a fraction of my gear. So that affected what music I could or couldn't play, and uh, now using a laptop and just two other uh, devices, one is called the Axe Effects and the other is a VG99 by Roland, um, I can do all that I could do before, even the keyboard sounds and things which are in the, 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 the computer, and, um, and a lot more. Painting with Guitar is the first tour to test his expansion into computer-aided signal processing. And while Ballou has spent the better part of 40 years making unique sounds with his six string, he says he's just begun to tap what is possible. Uh, when you break into this new world of software and all this stuff, uh, there's, there's a, I found already there are things that I couldn't do just six months ago. Now 60, Ballou has no intention of retiring. He's even looking into the possibility of reuniting King Crimson. Well, the only one uh, I'm waiting to hear from is the leader himself, Robert Fripp. Uh, it's his band, it's his vision. And so that's why I approached him first. I felt like if Robert said yes, then I know I would say yes, Tony would say yes, then maybe we could get Bill out of retirement and maybe he'd say yes. Uh, so far, no answer. So. That's not necessarily a bad thing, because if you think about it, maybe Robert's really thinking about it. Whatever happens, Ballou is sure to test the boundaries of technology and put his unique stamp on modern music. Michael Weinfeld, The Associated Press.